Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Jordan's Journey. On this episode, we look at part two of how to multiply your time. After part one and the resounding success from that one and the feedback that I got from you was how do you put this into the practical sense? Well, a tool that you can use is Trello. If you simply type into Trello into your search tab, you'll be presented with this software, which is free. There is a paid version, but the free version I've been using for years, absolutely no reason to upgrade. And you'll be able to create boards. Now, a board is how, what it is. It's this background here. And you'll be able to create these cards and give them titles. Now, if you haven't seen part one, refer back to it as you might be a little bit confused. This is where you'll be able to use urgent and important. And you can create another card called urgent and not important. Now, here's one that I made earlier. I should have been on Blue Pizza. <laughs> if we go to Study Fast, this is how I control my life of Study Fast. I have all these boards that have the cards of urgent, not important, not urgent, important, and so on. Within them, I'm able to put these little tabs of tasks, and I can distribute them in terms of their relevance. Now, the great thing about Trello is you can have checklists, so full of daily videos. I have different topics, which I can simply tick off. So multiply your time by two, I can tick off. And you can also create deadlines, so you can keep an eye on something coming up that is time sensitive. Another little feature, you're able to put little labels on them. I've used this with my sales pipeline to show when people have become a client or if they're still a prospect. And of course, a great feature with a terrible memory, <laughs> you can add comments. So if you're not sure what stage you're at, you can leave comments for not just yourself, but you can invite other people. So if you have a team, if you're working on a group project, you can invite them onto a Trello board, have your to-do list, and you can say, you know, task number one done, John take over. And so when whoever comes on, they can see by making it visible where they're at. So check out Trello. It's a great way to make the time matrix a practical part of your daily basis. It's also an app for iOS, so you can use it on your phone. And the great thing is if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can put in the to-do, and then when you do get Wi-Fi, it syncs it all back up. So give that a go. If you've got any more questions on how to use Trello, how to use the time matrix, do let me know. And the great thing, of course, you can drop them and place them. And when you're done, you can delete them or put them in a complete board. So I hope that's helped, and I'll see you tomorrow.